Hello, and welcome back to another video of Calc Nerd. As you can see, this is not normally how I uh, make videos, uh, but today, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be showing you how you can get a TI-83 or TI-84 emulator of your choice, and you can run it on your computer. So basically, the emulator just works on your computer, and you're able to do what you can't really do on a TI-83, such as learn assembly and stuff like that which is another language of programming that works with the calculator. So you're first going to visit this website called tiroms.weebly.com. You're going to scroll down until you find uh, the ROM file of your choice. So I'm going to do the TI-83 Plus ROM. I've already downloaded it, so you just click the download. And uh, you can also do stuff like the TI-84 Plus. Then you're going to go to this web website excuse me, called semtech.net. And it's going to load in a second. And then I'm going to do slash SC, which stands for source coder. And that's source coder 3, that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the new file button. I'm going to go to new TI file. As you can see, my TI-83 already loaded. I'm going to do TI basic program. And it's just going to be a blank TI basic program. I'm going to go over here. My TI-83 emulator is going to be right here. So I'm just going to open that all the way up. And as you can see, it is a working calculator already, but it won't work for you guys just yet. Um, and you can use like uh, the keys to type and the arrow keys to like move around and do that kind of stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to click ROM. And mine's already working, but I'm going to show you what you guys have to do. You have to choose a ROM file. You have to wait for your computer there to open, and you click the TI-83 Plus ROM or TI-84 Plus ROM, whatever you did. It's going to, the screen's going to turn black. That's okay. Don't worry. You just click pause and then play, and then you click the on button, and you it will say RAM cleared, and you'll have a totally functional calculator. Everything will work, all the buttons, and like I'm going to square that for fun, because why not? Uh, so yeah, it's a fully working calculator. You can try out programs and I'm just going to show you an example of how you would do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you that in just a second. Okay, so I reloaded the page on Source Carter 3 and I downloaded a 2048 game which is the exact one that I made and this is actually how I found the source code. So what I did is I click choose files and then I find the one that I did so I already have it pulled up here. I pull up the folder and then I do the .8xp file and as you can see it just brought me all the source code and it is a little bit different um, some of the stuff like the LSD stuff is a little bit different so actually what I like doing is I just pull up the calculator so then I click program and I actually forgot to send it to the calculator so I have to click test it will send it to the calculator. So now the file is on the calculator. I click program. And as you can see, TFE 2048. I'm going to click enter to run it. And as you can see, it's going to run the game uh, just as it would on the normal calculator. And I'm using the arrow keys right now on my computer um, to do it. And so that's basically all it requires to get an emulator on your computer it works really well as you can see and uh, one fun thing that you can do is you can click the on button to break it and I'm just gonna quit just so I can start at the beginning and I'm gonna click program and I'm gonna go to edit TFE and it will show me the source code this is not actually the exact one that I uh, used I just used part of this uh, program I didn't do like the no cheating stuff and stuff like that I started like right basically here or so but not quite so anyway that is all it really requires for you to run the calculator on your computer it works really well as you can see so I'm just gonna quit this really quick and it works as a normal calculator you can do just what you would do on your calculator so if you need it in school or something you can have an online calculator as a graphing calculator and it, yes it will still graph um, and do all that stuff so it's pretty awesome I hope you enjoyed today's video uh, if you haven't subscribed I hope you do uh, it helps a lot it know it makes me know that you're supporting my channel and you like my content um, and I hope you watch some of my other videos 
Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.